Hi, welcome back to the channel. If you've uh, never been here before, do consider subscribing. And if you do enjoy the content and you get some type of information of it, uh, definitely give me a thumbs up on the video. It helps me, helps the algorithm, um, and it's free. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set up the AD200 or the Evolve 200 flash unit so that you can actually see how fast your flash is firing which helps tremendously when you're trying to do some type of stop action and you have to keep a lower shutter in dim light you can at least freeze the action with the flash so without further ado let's check this out first thing you need to do is turn the unit on and then come up to the function button and press and hold for two seconds. That enters your custom function settings. Then we're going to scroll to F6. Then you're going to press the center button, set, and hold that until it flashes. Now simply rotate the wheel. You're on. Press the set button again, that's locked in. And now to get out of here, we're just going to hit the group channel button once, and you're in. And now you can see that at one half power uh, minus basically two thirds of a stop, your flash speed is 1,436. And as you change your flash speed, that will also give you the new uh, duration, you might say. So the less power you use, the faster the flash will fire, essentially stopping the action that much quicker. And if you look in the book, it says it's 220 is its slowest speed, and that is at full power. There you go. Now this, of course, is not the pro version. The pro version will go down a little bit farther. And for a job recently, I needed to know what the total flash duration was. And this was the easiest way to figure it out instead of guessing and making multiple uh, trial shots. So that was pretty simple. So just remember, this is the T1 flash speed, not the T05. So this is the actual complete duration of the flash, not its half cycle, you might say. And every time you turn it on, of course, it's going to be there. So once again, I hope you enjoyed the content. If so, definitely give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And until next time. Have a great day.